Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan With Elise and today I'm excited to do a product review. I feel like I haven't done something like this in a really long time, maybe even ever, I'm not sure, on my channel. But this is, I hope I'm saying it right, but the Lean Pearl K100 Portable Photo Printer. And they sent this to me to test out and share my thoughts and review with you. So this is the box it comes in, and this is the size of the printer. Look, it's itty bitty. It's a small printer. It's nicely in my hand here and it also comes with a charging port which I did already use because I wanted this to be charged ahead of time of filming the video and it also comes with a starter pack of um, photo sheets so there's a couple of things this is bluetooth so the cable there is just to charge the printer but then you download the app to connect it to your phone or iPad or whatever it may be. So it's compatible with both iOS and Android devices. I like that it is a portable design. It's sleek, it's small. If for some reason you wanted to travel with it for printing on the go, you would easily be able to because of the size. So I've already charged it, like I said, and I did actually connect it to my iPad since I use my phone to film videos. So we need to load the, po the photo paper. So open the printer paper tray cover. Looks like a slide. Okay, there we go. Whoop. I'm not great at doing these types of like setup types of things. I'm good at technology, but I feel like when it comes to the connectivity is where sometimes I struggle. So uh, we're going to see how it goes putting this in my phone or doing it on camera. Okay, this side down. So it looks like you have to load this, this side down, and unpack the paper and load the entire pack into the printer and make sure that the smart sheet at the bottom is at the bottom and the barcode is bottom most and the glossy side of the paper, this, is upward. So it's going to go just like that and then close the cover. Okay, that was easy. To turn it on, I'm just going to press this button here. And it looks like the paper will come out of here once printed. And then I think I just need to open the app, connect it, you can connect it by scanning the QR code or you can connect it um, by going and searching the app in the app store. So let's grab my iPad and get to printing. All right, so my iPad is on, the app is downloaded, I am signed in, and I'm going to click the portable photo printer. Okay, it is on, it is charged. I'm going to click a classic photo print. And then to start out, I am going to print a photo of select. You have to click that checkbox of my mom and my brother and I. Don't show it again. Got it. So it looks like you can do some editing. So I could do a border, we could make it a Polaroid, which is actually really fun. I think we're going to do that. We're going to do the Polaroid. There's also some filters you could put on here and some enhancements as well. Oops. But I am just going to print it as the Polaroid like it came. No, no color adjustments because this is a professional photo. Click done and print. It says do not exit the app during printing. Now it is transmitting, initializing printer engine, and we'll see what this time frame looks like. Warming up, it's like, okay. I like that it kind of gives you a little bit of an idea. Oh, it's starting, it's starting. Okay, let's put that down. Let's zoom in a little bit. It's going to come out of this side. And I'm keeping this camera on right now for real time because I want to see sort of how long this takes so you can kind of get an idea rather than just stop the video and have it go through. Because I think that if I were looking for a product like this, I would want to know that. So let's talk about a couple of other things. This is inkless printing, so it's not like you need to reload the ink. You would just need additional paper. So I have another pack of their photo paper right here, and it's two by three sticky backed paper, which means that it will stick automatically. Is that it? Oh, it's this that came out. 
I don't know if that was the plan. Oh yeah. Okay. I think that was the plan. Um, I also wanted to note just before I forget that I do have a coupon code in the description of this video for you to use to save on yours. I think that this could be a really nice holiday gift as long as all goes well and it looks like it is. So what's nice about using the photo that I used is that I wanted to try out the color because we have the ocean, we have a little bit of a sunset background and then black and white coloring. So I don't know if it will, that's it. Okay, I didn't know if it would slide back in or not, but that is it. And the color, the quality is pretty good. I find that printing photos isn't always perfect quality when I'm doing it from a smaller type of printer like this, but I do like that it's a cute little Polaroid here. Let's try another photo. And this time I'm not going to do the Polaroid type print. I'm just going to print it as is. So I'm going to click the checkbox and let's click print. What I don't know is if I needed to put this back in afterwards or not. So we're about to find out if this works without that smart sheet being in there and what that process would be. So um, like I said, okay, we are compatible with Blue or easy printing with Bluetooth, compatible with multiple devices, iOS and Android. This is portable and the accessories that are included are going to be everything that was in the box. This photo paper does come separately. So I did want to note that. The code that'll give you a discount on this, I'll put it in the description, but it's L12PWI. So it's a $12 off coupon, L for the brand name, 12 for the $12, and PWI for plan with Elise. Okay, so this is printing two by three, and it's printing the sunset really nicely on here. And then we are going to test the sticky back part of this. So let's move the iPad over and share kind of how this will pop into my planner. Okay, now if you are using a big happy planner for your memory keeping, these are going to print just about perfectly sized for these boxes. So when I go ahead and print all of the pictures from my family vacation, these would be perfect because we were away for a week and they'll be sized really nicely. What I think I'm also going to do now, because I like to think that when it comes to scrapbooking and memory keeping and all of that, any type of paper will really work. So right here, I do have an A5 size. And again, this is sticky backed paper, so you're not going to need any type of adhesive for it. And I might struggle with getting this paper off because of my nails, there we go. Okay, so nice and sticky right here on the back fits nicely there. And then we're going to try it with the Polaroid one too. You could cut this if you wanted it to be square but I'm going to keep it in here sort of as like a little Polaroid. And the adhesive is strong. So they're nice on the page just like this. And again, I think the color is pretty good when it comes to glossy photo printing. So we can just discard these and then kind of decorate these pages for this page in my planner. All right, so I thought it might be fun to incorporate a little bit of washi here, just as kind of like a decorative element. Even though this is adhesive backed, it kind of looks like the washi is taping it down, which I thought would be a fun little touch because you don't need a ton of decoration to memory keep. Not that I'm an expert on it, but in terms of just kind of playing around. So then you could take lines. This is the new checklist stencil. You could take these lines and instead of using the bullets, you can just use the lines to sort of write in this and journal about the day or the gathering or something like that here. So this one I probably should have adjusted the way that I did it. Let's take this page out just so I'm not limited by the discs there. And... We'll put this one right over here. I'm gonna start with this one on the bottom so I can see how far I need to go because I'm not gonna be going all the way. And this is a simple way to memory keep something that 
maybe isn't an entire week, but it's just a fun day or a fun event because you only have that little bit of paper and you don't have to stress about filling in an entire spread. So I'm going to spend a moment, we're gonna speed through and I'm just going to journal a little bit about this and then we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, the journaling is done. And just a quick thing with a few lines. And then I grabbed an older memory keeping sticker book because I thought this might be fun. So you could bring in like one of these noted or documented type of stickers. And we can bring in maybe these are the days. Let's see. I think we can kind of put this right here, sort of layered with that washi a little bit. And I don't know that we really even need anything else, but why not grab this little BFF sticker and kind of put it here. And let's see. I think maybe Maybe that will be it. I was just seeing if there was like a family sticker, a smaller family sticker, maybe something to put down here because we have that extra space. So let's see. How about so grateful? I can put this down here. Okay. And I think that's it. Now, I think what I'm most excited about for this is that I don't have to go upload photos to like CVS or Walgreens or Walmart, wherever you print photos to get them done, because this is just an easy one. This can fit just in my desk drawer even, and I can grab the photos and print them when I have a fun day. Often you'll see on my Instagram, like in my stories, I'll share, you know, a day with my niece and nephew or my friends and their babies or something like that. And this is a way that I can just grab a sheet of paper and in probably what, 10 minutes, put a little page in my planner with the date. I don't remember the exact date that we did these, but I think I'm just going to write August 2022. And another thing that I'm planning on doing, but more towards the end of the year, is I have this Kelva Plan desk calendar. And I think that on the back of each of these, I'm going to memory keep. So at the after October, I'll memory keep the back here. And this would be the perfect way to do that with this photo printer. So as a reminder, you can shop using the link in the description of this video and use the coupon code that I put there for $12 off of your order. Also just wanted to remind you again that the starter pack comes with a few sheets, but I have this additional 50 sheet pack. So let me know your thoughts in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you next time.